Hi, my name is Carlos Corvera. I'm an associate professor at the University of California in San Francisco. I'm also the chief of liver, biliary, and pancreatic surgery at UCSF, and I hold an appointment at the Veterans Administrative Hospital. My scientific research focuses on a condition called cholestasis. Cholestasis is broadly defined as the lack of bioflow through the liver. Important causes of cholestasis include gallstone disease, in which gallstones can tumble into the biliary tract and block the outflow of bile into the intestine. This results in an increase in pressure within the liver, leading to cell death and injury. From a clinical standpoint, this problem can happen all of a sudden or acutely, and patients may present with severe abdominal pain and often is associated with fever and chills. In contrast, however, there are a variety of conditions in which the blockage of bile flow occurs slowly over months and years involving gradual scarring of the smaller bile ducts within the liver. In contrast to the acute cholestasis situation, these patients tend to present clinically without any pain and it is often referred to as painless jaundice or with debilitating symptoms of profound itching which is called puritis. Puritis can be so debilitating that patients can scratch their skin off causing severe injury and suffer intense insomnia that can lead to suicidal ideation and in some cases require liver transplantation. Together, my colleague Dr. Nigel Bunnett and I have teamed up to investigate the role of the bile acid receptor TGR5 in its role in puritis and analgesia. My name is Nigel Bunnett. I'm a National Health and Medical Research Council Australia Fellow and Professor of Pharmacology and Medicine at the Monash Institutes of Pharmaceutical Sciences in Melbourne, Australia. Itch and pain are distinct sensations with a related pathway of transmission. They're protective mechanisms and yet they're antagonistic. Transmission involves activation of cutaneous A delta and C fibers of the dorsal root and trigeminal ganglia. Support for the existence of an itch selective pathway comes from the recent finding that gastrin releasing peptide or GRP is an itch selective transmitter in the spinal cord. We first use single cell PCR to determine whether small diameter neurons express TGR5 message. We identified a subpopulation of neurons that express TGR5 together with the itch transmitter gastrin releasing peptide and the ion channels TRIP-A1 and TRIP-V1 which contribute to both itch and pain transmission. This Venn diagram shows that 36% of all small diameter neurons express TGR5 transcripts. We localize TGR5 in sections of dorsal root ganglia neurons by using immunofluorescence and confocal microscopy. We identify TGR5 in a subpopulation of small diameter neurons that co-express the neuropeptides calcitonin gene-related peptide, substance P, and gastrin-releasing peptide transmitters of both pain and itch. We also detected TGR5 in as yet unidentified spinal neurons as well as in dermal macrophages which are known to contain opioids. To investigate whether bile acids and TGR5 agonists can directly signal to dorsal root ganglia neurons, we collaborated with Stephen Vanner's group at Queen's University in Canada and made patch clamp recordings from individual neurons. We observed that deoxycholic acid, a bile acid that activates TGR5, caused an increased excitability of neurons from wild type animals, illustrated by the decreased rear base and increased frequency of action potential discharge at a current of twice rear base. This hyperexcitability was not observed in neurons from TGR5 knockout animals. Oleanolic acid is a TGR5 selective agonist identified in extracts of leaves from the European olive tree. Oleanolic acid, like DCA, also caused an increase in excitability of dorsal root ganglia neurons and stimulated discharge of spontaneous action potentials from these neurons. To evaluate whether bile acids and TGR5 agonists can promote the release of neuropeptides in the spinal cord that are known to transmit 
both itch and analgesia, we collaborated with Pier Angelo Gepetti at the University of Florence. We measured the release of gastrin-releasing peptide and enkephalins from superfused segments of rat spinal cord. This analysis indicated that bile acids such as deoxycholic acid and TGR5 selective agonists such as oleanolic acid stimulated a calcium dependent release of both gastrin releasing peptide and leucine enkephalin from segments of the spinal cord. To evaluate whether bile acids and TGR5 agonists stimulate a TGR5 dependent scratching behavior in mice, we made intradermal injections of test agents into the nape of the neck of animals and then recorded scratching behavior. We observed that the bile acids, deoxycholic acid, taurolithocholic acid, as well as the TGR5 selective agonist, oleanolic acid, stimulated a robust scratching response in wild type animals that was markedly diminished in knockout animals and yet enhanced in TGR5 transgenic mice. Remarkably, TGR5 transgenic animals also exhibited a spontaneous pruritus, suggesting that TGR5 overexpression per se is enough to, to drive scratching behavior. The effects of bile acids on scratching in wild type animals were strongly inhibited by antagonism of both GRP and opioid receptors. To evaluate the role of TGR5 in analgesia, we injected bile acids or TGR5 agonists either into the pore or intrathecally of mice and then measured pore withdrawal to stimulation of the plantar surface with calibrated von Frey filaments. We observed that TGR5 agonists caused a robust analgesic response where they were injected into the pore or intrathecally this analgesic response required expression of TGR5, and bile acid evoked analgesia was prevented by antagonism of opioid receptors. Bile acids in the skin may activate TGR5 expressed by nerve fibers originating from the dorsal root ganglia. TGR5 activation results in a hyperexcitability of these neurons, leading to the release of gastrin-releasing peptide and opioids within the spinal cord where they activate spinal neurons that transmit itch. TGR5 is also expressed by dermal macrophages. Activation may release opioids within the periphery which could activate opioid receptors on dorsal root ganglia neurons mediating peripheral analgesia. However, activation of TGR5 on spinal neurons can also evoke the release of opioids, leading to central mechanisms of analgesia. Our results show that TGR5 mediates the effects of bile acids on itch and analgesia in mice. Whether bile acids and TGR5 also contribute to the pruritus and analgesia that are observed in patients with cholestatic disease requires further investigation.